Yes, a Vortex here, and welcome to my review of the Open Heart IE800. Uh, as usual, Open Heart don't really put models to their, like what they make. So I've got the Open Heart resin. There's no ma natural model, as far as I'm aware, and the same for this. So throughout the video, I will call it the IE800, which is a replica or copy. Um, as obviously, they've copied someone else's design. And yeah, I'd like to thank a viewer for sending this in to me, so thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Uh, I was not paid to this video, and all thoughts and opinions are my own. And yeah, let's just get into it. Yeah, so I'd like to start off with, when you buy an open heart, it typically comes in this case. And because this is not mine, it was sent in by a viewer. It's missing a few things, and some things are different. So normally you buy an open heart, it comes with silicone tips. I don't have none of that, but it normally does come small, medium, and large. Um, this is the right case. It does come with this kind of uh, clip. So you run the cable in there, keeps it tight to your shirt. Um, these are his own foam tips that it came with. And also, it, it comes with his own cable. As you can see, it's a used cable. Normally, open heart cables are like a black and kind of copper mix on the on the actual how it's uh, wrapped together so this is his own cable which is obviously a 3.5 as you can see it's used it's a bit frayed but it just um, as usual open heart or mmcx so this is what the buds look like anyway obviously mmcx the ie 800 style shell and as far as i'm aware they use a dynamic driver i guess a micro one because they're quite small and yeah, that's just what they look like. The build quality on them is actually very good, considering it's a copy. Yeah, so I, it, it, I presume it's a dynamic driver. And when I did this video, there was no AliExpress listing for this. So if this has been discontinued, I do apologize. Sometimes with open heart, if things come in and out of stock, um, they disappear off the website, so you don't and then when it's back in stock, it reappears. So at this time, this video, this is not on there. And um, if it is being discontinued, I do apologize. I do like to only review things that are actually, you know, available. And yeah, that's what that look like. So yeah, normally, like I said, you can normally get tips. And normally with open heart, you can actually order it without a cable. So sometimes if it's a bit cheaper. But anyway, that's what they look like. So yeah, I'm gonna carry on with the review. Yeah, so fun on to the review part. As you can see, these things are tiny. So just a quick comparison to a, um, obviously a different brand, but this is a KZDQ6S. Obviously it's an old real one. You can see it's tiny in comparison. It's much smaller. So yeah, that's just a comparison. So let's talk about isolation. I didn't think the isolation was that great. Um, might just be me, but because I think maybe because it's a cable down one, it's a bullet style one. I didn't think I sighted that great, but you may, you may have better luck than I did. And I did try this with multiple different tips just to make sure. So, yeah, so sensitivity and powering them, I didn't really have any issues at all. It didn't seem um, the driver they used didn't seem fussy or anything like that. So, I didn't really have any. Um, any issues really so no sound stage and imaging um average for both really nothing nothing really amazing just i was happy with it i forgot what these was when these facade when i saw these facade before i think these was i'm sure that was under 20 pounds so these are actually quite affordable so yeah sound stage imaging i'd say average nothing not good not bad I think for what these was, the price is fine. So talk about build quality. Obviously, I don't I don't have a cable or anything. I'm just reviewing them as they are. Build quality actually seems very good. It's an all metal construction. Again, open heart stuff is typically built well. Um, yeah, build quality is good. So comfort, which is normally I normally do this first, but I thought I'd do it further down. Um, I didn't really like the comfort. I prefer, like I said, that KZ. I prefer a over rear kind of cable, as in a normal in ear monitor. Cable down variants like these, I'm never really keen on it because it always feels the weight's 
um, like pulling down like that. I don't really like, like that, but that's my opinion. But it is good to see, obviously, different versions because I've done a ton of IEMs. It's good to have cable down versions because a few people like this one. Again, it is very, very small. These are very petite, so they're <laughs> very quite small. But I, I, I wasn't keen on it, but other people might be. So, yeah, so let's talk about, you know, obviously why you buy these. Sound. So, the sound of these, I, I was ultimately not that happy with it. As you can see, there's channel imbalance. Now, on the, when we graph these in the software called REW or Room EQ Wizard, it looks even more, um, the imbalance looks even more so than actually on the graph tool. But uh, let's talk about bass. As you can see, they are, they are quite bassy. The sub bass does roll off. Again, that's my coupler. It should, there should be a bit more sub bass. So you just have to bear that in mind. Um, okay, the low end was nothing amazing. The driver they've used seems competent enough, but I was I was okay with it. Now mids, as you can see, it is a bit scooped in the middle. Mm, you could probably call it a V. I'll probably there's a bit of a V shape to it. The drivers again, there's an imbalance between the drivers. I did these multiple times, and I went to do I. I wasn't happy with them, so I reviewed. I sorry, I remeasured a couple of others to make sure my measuring was enough, and they measured fine. I come back to measuring these again, and it came back exactly the same. So these are these seem to measure a little bit more funky than anything else I've tried, which is kind of weird. But yeah, mids um, scooped, not really aggressive. They're not shouty, which is good. I don't like shouty vocals and things like that. It's that's not that's not my kind of thing. But the, yeah, there's okay. There's nothing amazing. There's enough texture there. There wasn't boring. There's a little a little bit scooped, but some I found male vocals had enough warmth to them. And there's a little bit of obviously there's a bit of bleed towards the bottom. I was okay with that. Um, yeah, makes some things sound a bit thicker, or it can sound a bit dry. But I wish the balance was a bit better, but it is what it is really, unfortunately. So treble, obviously this way it spikes up. Again, without the tool, the imbalance looks worse than that does, which is kind of which is kind of weird, but it, again it is what it is. So treble, uh, it can be a little bit it can be a little bit spicy. And the weird thing is as you can see, the peak at 6k. Now, normally it's meant to measure eight. Again, like I said, you know, a few moments ago, I measured it a few times, maybe 20 times each side, went to measure something else, or like two others, came back to it, and this is exactly the same. So I don't know why it does that, but it can be a little, it can be a little bit spicy in the treble. It sounds a little inconsistent, again, because of the channel matching. And then again, you can see there's a peak at 10, so that kind of helps it sound a little bit wider than it does from what I, from what I could tell. Um, but the text, like treble details and resolution was okay, really. If, the, if, the, if it wasn't as bit that spicy towards the top of the treble and the channel matching was better, these would actually have been a really good set for essentially a replica item, but... I was to say, really, I was I I wasn't sure what to expect because I've seen zero graphs, and I, I didn't really see any kind of reports or feedback or anything like that. So this is kind of blind, which is good because it's the best way to try them. It's always worth trying them first and then graphing them later on, so it doesn't skew your kind of thoughts and kind of placebo effect. But the treble is okay. I was I wished it was a bit smoother, really, but. Again, I'm sure these is under twenty pounds, so they're quite affordable. If they come back on, I hope they're not discontinued. So yeah, enough for me rambling on. So, kind of conclusion is that okay. I, I was as expecting a bit better. The quality control needs to be better. Maybe this is a one-off with these. I don't know. I only can review what I have here. 
because if you i do like the small shape I, I am kind of happy with how they sound it sound it's tuned a little different compared to what but this should be matched better even at this kind of price really considering the build and the they are they are a known brand on aliexpress which is you know they're not like a no name brand where the qc is garbage but yeah the treble can be a little bit funky at times i'd recommend an eq but again it depends on you your music library as well but yeah it was okay really i just wish there's maybe i was expecting a bit more or it just it just needs better quality control and yeah and obviously the comfort the cable down is not personally for me but yeah they're okay i'm not sure if i'd recommend them that they, they seem like they need a bit more work really um and then i would have released them if it was my kind of company but yeah they're okay they're just a bit different they they need to be more refined especially in the treble and yeah i think that's pretty much it really as usual for let me know anything in the comments and yeah thanks for watching and take care